It is the deadliest terror attack in France in decades, unfolding in a horrific few minutes in broad daylight in the downtown streets of Paris. An attacker yells, Alu Akbar, God is great. The four gunmen opened fire inside the offices of a French satirical magazine, which fueled anger from Islamist extremists in the past. They were on the second floor and moved towards the editorial section, where the entire team of journalists were together. Outside on the street, the attackers gunned down a police officer. He screams, stay away. But the gunmen shoot him dead and leave a clue about their motivation. They shouted that we've taken revenge for the prophet. They then head to their getaway car, one gunman raising his hand in the air in what could be a signal to others that played a role in the attack, according to a Western intelligence source. Another stops to pick up a shoe before fleeing the scene. Then a wild chase on the streets of Paris, cars ram and violent confrontations. They were then faced with a police car. At that time, there was the first exchange of fire, but no injuries. Then after that, they faced another police patrol, which led to a second exchange. Then there was a third shooting unleashed against a police team, and one member was hit and shot to the ground. The grim result, 12 people killed, another 11 wounded. Among the dead, newspaper editor and cartoonist Stéphane Charbonnier, known as Charb, who in past editions of the paper satirized the prophet Muhammad. With the attackers still on the loose tonight, France's president wants immediate action. We need to find the actors of this terrorist act. They must be arrested and brought before judges. France is shocked today.